Hey, everybody. Would you like me to read you a story? Why are you being so creepy? Oh, hey, should I read them the story of when I went to work on magical mushrooms or when I drove to Tijuana with some Irish guy I met at a bar one? Oh, no, tell them the story about how we got our dog. Yes, that's a good one. One morning we went out for coffee and as we were walking back to the car, we saw a pug rescue nearby. Steven's face lit up. Let's just look, he said while hopping around like a kid on sugar. If we go in, we're going to walk out of there with like 10 pugs. No, no, let's just look. I can just look. Yeah, right. But I said okay, and we walked inside. And then I saw them. Just tons of ugly, misfit pugs. Pugs are pretty weird to begin with, but since this was a rescue, these ones were next level funky looking. Which is to say that they were amazing, and I wanted them all. Steven went off on his own with so much exuberance, it was like his dreams were coming true. I strolled around, and then I saw him. The one. He was facing a wall, not moving, except for some nervous twitching. I picked him up and he started foaming at the mouth. I think that means he likes me? He had only one eye, which hopefully explained the staring at the wall. He was super skinny. The dog slipped through my hands a little. He was gooey. Uh, did something spill on him? I took a closer look at his skin and saw that it was irritated, oozing, pussing goo. He was f***ing disgusting. Sorry. Hey! You're beautiful. In every single way, words can't bring you down. Okay, I'll stop. From across the room, I saw Stephen holding one pug in each hand. Laura, look at these! He had a healthy looking black one, replete with two eyes, and a cute beige one, also with two eyes. Look at this one! Jason! Stephen startled at the sight of him. He composed himself and asked, Are you sure that's a dog? He's more dog than you'll ever be. I lashed out. Well, at least he's alive, isn't he? He's hanging on. Let's take him home. Why must you constantly do my accent? Because it's constantly fun. Do you, what, have you been working on my accent? Let me hear it. Yeah, how about you? Oh, I'm an American girl. I'm just going to put my makeup on because I'm from America. That's where I live. Well, it's pretty good. We spoke to the employee about taking him home. She frowned. Uh, I don't think you want that one. Yes, we want him, I interjected before Steven could express any doubts. The employee picked up another dog. Have you seen Kathy? Just take her for a spin. Kathy is just awesome. So smart, so funny. She loves to watch TV. Her favorite show is Judge Judy. Just don't ever flip the channel while it's on or she'll bite your face off. I just wanted the goo dog. Who else was going to rescue the pug facing the wall? We signed the paperwork to take home our new dog. We named him Oliver. And here's my impression. I looked down at Oliver, who was facing a different wall. Can you see? Completely. That one eye really does the job. He just loves wall. We brought him home and I put him in the living room, but he kept bumping into stuff. We took him to the vet to get his eyes checked out and learned that he was 100% blind. Also, he's allergic to everything. Okay, that makes sense. We found out that in his last home, the owners kept him in a dark garage and neglected him. With so much time spent in the dark, he slowly lost his vision. After he became completely blind, he bumped into a sharp object that pierced his eye. The owners checked on him days later after it had gotten infected and it was too late to save the eye. Living with Oliver has really changed my perception of dogs. Now when I see a fully working two-eyed dog that can do things like find his water bowl and not hit his head on everything, I'm just so impressed. What else can you do? Work the front desk at a gym? Why not? There's guide dogs, police dogs. Dogs could definitely work at a gym. That'd be fun. Hey, how do we get a membership? Jesus! Oliver. Ollie. Come here. Ollie. Come on. Oliver. Ollie. Oliver. Ollie. Oliver. Oliver. His, his hearing's okay. I'm just... If you're looking for a nice gift this holiday season, take Oliver. Seriously, does anyone want him? Should have been Kathy. No, I'm just kidding. You should get my book. It's, it's better than socks. Depends on the socks. Fair enough.